Hello everybody and welcome back to Ion Formula 1. We're in Qatar for the ninth round of the fourth season of the World Championship. We're currently following the Aston Martin of Project User as they make their way around the top of the track. Joining you in the commentary box today is Midi Dolphin and Brandstar's team owner Shea A. Mitra Globe has two green sectors, they're in a McLaren, we're going to see how far up they can get their car as they round the final corner now here in Qatar, there's the starting grid, DRS zone number two, crossing the line now, and they go 10th fastest with a 129.437. Ooh, already a green sector for Decare. He is improving. And, and a purple sector. Purple. That's the second sector for purple. He did even better on that sector. That is a sector to beat at the moment. Let's see how LaFungweg's doing. He's doing two green sectors. Still the third one to go. We'll see how he does. Decare, we probably won't see him doing any better. He's already in first. But his time might get better. We'll have to see. LaFungweg's kind of behind him, though. We'll see if he's able to at least get in the top ten. As they cross the line, Decare is going to get a 128.0. That is an improvement. And here and comes Wolf on Greg. They go 21st. Oh, that's 21st. That's not a good place to start, but hopefully he'll be able to do a little better during the race itself. Uh, let's see how many other people are finishing their laps. Indominus Rex, he's on a two sector. Ben and uh, Justin and Jackie wide at the last corner there. Yeah, there we are. Ninth. Looks like. Here comes Fernand, he's going across the final corner, he's in P3, he's got two green sectors, will he be able to pass critical? He will not oh. be able to, 128.7, he is .1 off. But critical's also be a, <laughs> critical's also about to third. finish. Oh, mummy, wow, that's pretty oh, good for Oh, critical Uprise. noob gets a massive snap of oversteer at that last corner. Oh. A3, boys, oh. let's go. A3, there we go. Sheesh. As they now I mean, do come on in Qatar. Here we go. And they're and off they're and away very quickly. quickly. Look at that. People moving across to the racing line. It looks as if Dakar got a good start. Trying to stay ahead of the e-spirit of Critical Noob on the outside here. It's a very twisty and turny turn, number one. As we dive down through the 200 meter board. Coming into the first corner. Kaikara got a good start. But they're running wide through turn number two. Coming up the hill now towards turn three. I'm not sure which Audi that is. Oh, but there no. is an Audi Get that's gone up. Epic Brother fell behind. They're now in last. They got a lot of room to catch up as they're actually falling behind very horribly. And I think that was an e-spirit of the Pro Drive just going wide there slightly. Dakar getting very much into the lead here. About three car lengths to the Audi of Donta Hajek behind. I can see a Lamborghini and a Pro Drive. I think that is Professor Bloxer. Yes, it is. Uh, oh, no! Right in the brand star also doing well. E-spirit went straight into the sand. He's going to fall behind as well. Jakar in the lead at the moment, but Audi is right behind their tail. I don't know if that's 420 or Dance of Hadjek. And behind him is going to be a brand star itself. That's Landstroid. He's actually doing really well for the beginning of this race. And the East Spirit right behind him. Could that be Critical Noob? That is Critical Noob currently on the board in fourth position, but they're probably gaining positions. 420 Merc Music has got up into second in the Audi as they come through the twisty corners of turns 11 and 12. Now onto the first DRS zone of the lap. Everybody within a second of the car ahead will be able to open up their rear wing and get some extra speed on their rivals. Everybody but to care as he is in the lead at the moment, but he probably won't be needing that as he is getting a burst of speed. However, the Audi is right on his tail. He's going to be able to try and make a pass, but he will not be able to make it. To care is now pulling ahead. And if I'm not mistaken, Lance Droid is now up to third wait, with Indominus wait, Rex holding wait, the fastest wait. lap. Where did Decare go? I just missed. I just lost him. Oh, there he is. I think he might have had a little bit of a lag. I saw an Audi in the lead and I got really confused. But it also seems as though 420 pass kind of fell behind. He's now in P5. Yeah, just the, the the battle for second place is really heating up here. Dakar is running away with it, sort of, a second gap to Fer, uh, Fen and Jaster in second. But between Fen and Jaster and Critical Noob, it's only a second gap. 
Speaking of gaps, let's talk about the gap between Takara and the rest of the pack. That has gotten extensively bigger now. I'm saying that may at least be a second or a second and a half. That is 1.5 seconds exactly, Shane. Is that enough for people to not get DRS off of him? That's it. Yes, it is, because you need to be within a second. Oh, well, that's it. <laughs> Good luck, Uprise. You're going to have to get some speed somewhere else. Well, Kakar's making some ground. He's going to be able to have to try and get some better ground, though, if he's going to get in that top 10 and get some points for his team. We might be seeing a repeat of what happened in Japan. Hopefully that is not the case. KR definitely needs these points in order to keep in those top standings because Audi is now doing better than they are. And Fernand going side by side oh, as Danza Hatchek comes it. into the pits and their teammate Ford 20 Merc Music keeps on going. And they've done a very dodgy job of getting into the pit box here. They are nearly perpendicular with the pit lane itself as Kaikera comes in for new tyres as well. Like it worked though. Looks like it worked though. He's going to be on a new <laughs> set of medium. He's running again. Uh, let's see where Ky what Kaikara switches to. They started on mediums. Let me guess. Uh, we've seen Will other be people switching to mediums. Oh, they are. <laughs> what a surprise. He's going to stick with his teammate. Whoa, hang on a second. What happened to Static? Static, static just static. crashed. He's crashed static in the pit. Crashed in the pit. What happened? What happened to Static? What in the world happened? Did he have a mistap? What in the world caused sure. him to crash? Static I don't even static side of the race. Did he hit somebody? Was there a collision with a player? I'm not sure. Let's see what he goes for. He was on hards. What will he change to? He gives us an XD. Got no indication. Hards it's again! Another set of hards. And Critical Noob's going to be right behind them, about a good six seconds behind. Oh, hang and on a second, we got another in pit. the pits, as well as Matt. Let's see what Merc does for his tires. He'll be getting out first. He's going mediums. That doesn't surprise me. Matt was on hards, and he is going to now go on mediums himself. So yeah, we've been seeing some interesting strategies. We've been seeing medium mediums, medium hards, hards mediums, hard hards, and even... Yeah, I think that's about it. We've just been seeing mediums and hards on the track. Well, hang on a second, is that another pit? Did Dan just pit? Dan's pitted. Yeah, that is another pit for Fernand. And not only him, but... Oh, it seems as though Ifili, Tifili, is going to be doing a pit as well as he has lost his front wing. And Fernand's going to be going on softs by the looks of it. He's going to try and go for a fastest lap time as well. He wants that fastest lap. He wants all the points. And he's going to get them. Well, he doesn't have the fastest lap anymore. That's Critical Noob's well, that is fastest true. lap now. Uh, they've just gone I fastest. I mean, yeah. Will 420 Merc Music be able to take the lead? We'll be able to get P2 before this race ends. Two seconds. You care? Right also, them. also that, but Decare's now been able to get the fastest lap off those soft tires. And now probably at this rate, we'll be able to keep it. If Dakar, if the fastest lap is taken away from Dakar again for someone who goes to fresh tires, I think he has enough time, Delta, to launch droid, or he'll be able to gain it over the next couple of laps to be able to box and get a new set of tires if he really needed to. Side by side, side by side on the end of it. Oh, Professor Blocks <laughs> awaits. Like the... Professor Blocks He's going to go backwards. He's going to go backwards across it. And, and he wins. Dick Care is going to win, but let's see who gets in second. That is still yet to be seen, as there is still a battle. Where are Critical they? Critical run they? out of fuel! Critical Noob run out Critical of fuel! Out of fuel. <laughs> That's why they're falling! These are not going to be the points that eSpirit needed. They're going to fall out of the top 10. That's going to give Kaikara a P8. That's Howdy's a lot of points. going to get some great points. Howdy's going to get some Dakar. great points. Mercury's about to pass it. He's going to get second. He will get second. Lance Troy will get third. That's a France Star P1, P3, and an Audi P2, P4. That is Lamborghini in fifth now. And Fernand's going to be right behind him in P6. And behind him will be Matt getting P7, getting some points for eSpirit. I think Kaikara may yes. Kaikara held Kaikara off Mummy and gets P8. 
and Mummy's gonna take P9, and who's gonna take the final one? It's gonna be a P10. Critical won't be able to take it at this rate. Who's gonna take it? Epic Brother is coming towards Critical Noob. Epic Brother overtakes Critical Noob. I think they may be able to get points on their F1 debut with KR Racing. Look at this. This is gonna be great for the Constructors. Two cars in the points for the first time ever, maybe this season. It could be. It could be. This might be it. It might not no, be that many points. Uh, Japan was with Pachakura and Kaikara, but for only the second time this season, Epic Brother rounds the final corner. They've moved to F1 oh, to replace Pachakura this race. They just need to and get to the line now. It. And this is double points for KR Racing. Epic Brother gets one point on their debut in F1 because of Critical Noob's fuel problem. They're running to the line. Be... They've been overtaken by Greg, who's already finished the race. Oh my god! Yeah! 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 Yeah!